morning everyone or i should say afternoon it's gone half past one we had the best lay in this morning it was so well needed i can't even tell you i've just had a shower i've washed my hair put on a bit of makeup put my pajamas back on these are matalan by the way i love them the legs are like fitted a bit like long johns i've also got my tuting glen slippers on got to be done I'm just gonna completely switch off from stressing about anything today today is a relaxing day we're gonna watch some Christmas films and he's just gone to get the cats from the cattery so he'll be back soon with them and he, I think he's gonna go to co-op as well and get a couple of bits because we literally have no loo roll I am gonna edit my videos but I actually quite enjoy doing that at the moment and this is the first time I'm editing the day after and not the same night so I really need to do that. Oh my God, quite quickly. Crap. My video goes live in like three and a half hours. I didn't even think about that in my lay-in. Oh dear. Okay, so I need to do that next, I think. I'm gonna edit yesterday's video, which shouldn't be too hard. It wasn't a massively long one, I don't think. And I've got some mail to open as well, which I'm gonna do now. Yeah, I also need to open my advent calendar later and it's just going to be a really nice day at home. I've got on radio too as well. I don't know what's happened to me, but this year I've really got into radio too. And I think it's because we work at home and we have the radio on and I don't know, like, I think maybe my mum put it on when she come over and we just happened to leave it on one day and we just got really hooked on it. And my favourite show is Jeremy Vine. 12 till 2 weekdays because I just love it and I love listening to like the current affairs and everyone's opinions on it and I love it when people ring in and talk about different things and they're quite good actually they cover quite a like wide range of different topics and they like they covered the whole vegan five pound note scandal thing recently so I really enjoy listening to that and I just feel like it keeps me really in the loop with what's going on in the world because I don't always watch the news. So yeah, and I think he's just really easy to listen to, but he's not always on there actually. When he's not on there, my favorite stand-in is Vanessa Feltz, which I'm really surprised to say, but she's just got such a good radio voice and I just really like her. But on Sundays, I can't remember who it is that they have on here. Elaine Page, that's what it is. I just heard it then, Elaine Page. Sunday afternoons, um, I don't really know who Elaine Page is. I've heard the name, but if I saw her, I'd probably yeah, be like, oh yeah, that's who it is. But on Sunday afternoons, she plays like a lot of musical West End show songs and, or just like any show songs, theatre songs and like musicals, that's the word I'm looking for. Theatre songs, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> she plays like musicals like this. I wouldn't say like I'm a massive musical fan, but, there's something about having this on on a Sunday and people like singing what they're doing. Like, I'm going to get the milk and I'm gonna make a cup of tea. And me and Andy just really get into it and we start like singing around the house, like what we're gonna do. <laughs> I just really enjoy it. So I always have Radio 2 on on a Sunday and I love just being at home, having the musicals blast out and yeah, you're probably all gonna unsubscribe now because you're gonna think I'm at like actually much older than I am. But if you haven't listened to Radio 2, seriously, get into it because I think it's a bit of a life changer. <laughs> right, time to do post. I opened this card last night. This is from Andy's cousin, Lindsay and Rob. Thanks if you're watching. I don't think they are, but does anyone else's parents have really distinctive handwriting? Like, I know this is my dad's card. Oh. <laughs> On your birthday, remember you can't improve with age if you're perfect already. Aww, thanks dad. Some of these are gonna be Christmas cards as well, I imagine. Oh my God! <gasps> Who on earth has sent me this? This is incredible. Dear Pomeranian, print designed by Emily McKay. O-M-G. Oh! To my awesome Twitter friend Sarah, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Wishing you a festive season full of delicious vegan food. <laughs> my battery just died, so I've had to restart this again. This card, oh my god. 
Wishing you a festive season full of delicious vegan food and all the laughs and lots of cuddles with your adorable fur babies. Lots of love, Nadia. Oh, Nadia. Thank you so much. This is, seriously, I think this is going to be the best Christmas card I ever received. <laughs> I love it. What an amazing find. It's rare someone sends me something as well that I haven't seen before because I'm always scouring like the shops and Instagram and everything for like anything Chihuahua or Pomeranian related. So you've done so good here, Nadia. And if you didn't know, Nadia's from the blog Not So Quiet Girl and she's one of my faves. And she's also put, P.S. Happy Holidays to Andy, Zen, Bapu, Suki, Winnie and Naboo. Oh, that is the cutest. Thank you so much, Nadia. Nice pink envelope. This must be a birthday one, I think. Take that ass to town, birthday lady. Oh, that's so funny. I love that. Dear Sarah, happy birthday. Lovely. Lots of love, Kelly, Lee and Buster. Oh, Kelly's one of my friends. I've known her for ages. As soon as I saw this, actually, I thought... This is going to be from Kelly. That's so cute. Thank you, Kelly. And Lee and Buster. Oh, love a really cute Christmas card. <gasps> Where are you guys finding these cards? Love the sparkle on this one. To Sarah, Mr. K and your very furry babies. Oh, have a lovely birthday too. Wishing you joy, health and a house filled with love, appreciation and magic. May 2017 be a great year for the Be Nice Life. Love, Marsha. And Marsha is from World Within Her. Um, she's at World Within Her on Twitter and Instagram and she's a vegan blogger. That is so cute. Thank you so much, Marsha. I love the sparkle on this one. So nice trying to show it without my dress it's got this awesome tape on it look this is cool oh i don't know who this could be from actually who loves their stationery let's see oh this is crazy oh my god wow that is the best oh dear sarah happy birthday hope you have a wonderful day lots of love lily P.S. Hope you've recovered from your fall. I've sent you a little something to make grazes more fun. Oh my god. Lily is at Tiny Grey Cat on Twitter. Also Instagram, I think. And she is super lovely. She's one of my fave online girls. That is such a cute card. Thanks so much, Lily. Let's see what else is in here. Sarah's super cute emergency first aid kit. Oh my god. All right, Zen. Zen's like desperate to come up. You don't normally like it when we open packages. How cute is this? I've not even looked in it yet, but I know it's going to be like the cutest. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. They're like little plasters with cat. Oh no, they're cats. Yeah, they're like, oh, different animals, it looks like. We've got some cat foxes, it looks like. A Mr. Bump plaster, that is so funny. I'll give these ones to Andy, maybe. <laughs> Hello Kitty, Oh, I actually don't have any nice plasters. They are so cute. Thank you so much, Lily, that is so thoughtful of you. And she sent me one of her own designed Christmas cards. How cute are these? have to check her out if you've never seen her work before. Dear Sarah, Andy, Zen, Bappy, Suki, Winnie and Naboo, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and all good things in 2017 with lots of love, Lily, Soldier and Molly. Aww. Lily's cats are amazing by the way. If you haven't, uh, if you don't follow her on Instagram, you need to go and check them out. They're such sweeties. Thank you so much, Lily. That has really made my day today. I'm really enjoying this post opening. Oh no, that's it. That was super fun. Thank you so much, girls, for your cards as well. I always love, like, it's just so nice coming home to, like, really good happy mail as well and having, like, some more bits and pieces to open. It's really cute. I love it. Right, what next? I hope you're happy.
I'm not even going to try and lip sync because I don't know the words, but I think you're getting the vibes of this Radio TV Sunday. So this is this afternoon's cosy setup. <laughs> this is where I'm going to edit my vlog, yesterday's vlog, for a little while. It's probably going to take a couple of hours, it usually does. Got the lights on and then we're going to go for a Christmas movie. I don't actually own that many DVDs anymore. This is like basically my DVD collection these days. Um, you just don't buy them anymore, do you? The Grinch is one of my faves so that's going to be watched today oh the holiday i've seen that on tv recently bridget jones i've seen recently my video is important so i'm just gonna go on my phone for a little while because i haven't even looked at my phone yet this morning i feel like i'm really falling behind with social media and stuff and he's back with the cats hi minis did you have a nice break huh? no did you have a nice holiday oh we missed you I'll let you out in a second. Oh, hi Nabu. Oh. She always feels like she's put on weight when she comes back from the cattery. I think it's because she can't like dart around as much. Oh, shut the door. She's going to go. She's going to go. Come on, Minnie. Let's get you out as well. The dogs are really interested in like where they've been and stuff, but guaranteed they won't. Are you going to be nice to each other? Let's see what you do to each other. Are you going to say hi to each other? And within about half an hour, you'll start being horrible to each other again. Into co-op. Oh. I've just realised, since getting up late, that I've only now got two and a half hours to edit and upload my vlog for five o'clock. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I was just like pottering around and I was just like, crap, I need to do that. Do you want to update about your arm? How's it feeling? So, I'm, I'm using it today. Yeah, you changed the dressing on it and stuff, didn't you? Changed the dressing on it. Had a shower. I just had the first look of it this morning in the mirror. Yeah. I didn't even look at it yesterday. Hi, Winnie. What you I've put some dreamies out for you. They're ready and waiting on here. Look, there's some dreamies. Yeah. Did you have a nice time? I think they actually really like going to the cattery. I think it does them good. It makes them makes them bond a little bit more with each other. They've got a really nice bond anyway, but sometimes they do get on each other's nerves. Be nice to them. They smell. I know, they've been playing that game for like ages. All right, I need to get back to this because it's not even funny how little time I've got. That's what happens when Andy's making lunch. <laughs> Andy's just Bought lunch down. How epic does this look? Linda McCartney sausage and onion baguette and some crisps and brown sauce. This looks so good. Did you nearly burn it? Is that why the fire alarm was <coughs> going off? Yeah, I think it's something on the grill pan that's just caught. You've got a friend. <laughs> she never sits with me. Hi, you're helping me edit. she's been so cute my vlog just went live 10 minutes ahead of schedule as well i thought it was going to be late but done it i think in a minute we're going to, we can be bothered to move we're going to go up and make sure we have our apple tea oh i don't know if i fancy just like a normal cup of tea come on hood we'll have a normal tea and then we'll have our apple tea and i still want to have some of my veggie bar i bought a giant veggie bar in infinity foods did you yeah you had two squares that one i've you? had two squares already still still going strong if you are going vegan or you're vegan already and you've never had a veggie bar they are the best vegan chocolate nothing has ever outdone it for me they are really good they are the best so i'm gonna have this tonight apple strudel this was really good when we tried it in the shop and this was the other one that we had last night mold wine flavor instant tea you all need to get this seriously you'll be thanking me and it's time to open the advents on this so what day did we go so it was the sixth oh it says noel that's cute 
We've got an angel. Let's see what was under my birthday. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And then nine. What have we got here? Angels again, I think. Well, they kind of look a bit. don't know what they are. They might be carol singers. Rudolph! And where's 11? More angels. I got one of these in the utility shop from Brighton. So I'm going to have mine in that. Do you reckon it holds enough, that one? Is it actually like tea leaves, this? Or is it like no, one of those like funny bits. mixes? This is like actual bits of apple, I think, mm. mixed in with other things. Well, that'll be all right in there because the holes are quite small. I just need to decide if we're going to add sugar to this because it wasn't very sweet in the shop, was it? Mm, I don't know. It's not going to be very strong. I don't know if it needs it, really. Just doing my Sunday plan for the week. I don't mind doing this, actually, because I find it quite fun because I'm a geek and it makes me feel good for the week ahead and I don't like starting Monday without having done this and I'm really thankful that there's quite a few days this week that I can just do my thing like tomorrow is completely blank for me tomorrow's going to be a blogging slash video slash just everything I need to get done day and I also need to do some wrapping actually tomorrow um I need to make a note of that Tuesday we're going to London and the dogs are going to the dog sitters for the day. This is just mainly to see the Christmas lights and I think we're going to go to Tibbetts because it was around this time last year we went to Tibbetts and we haven't been back since and we really loved it, didn't we? Yeah, it's So it's becoming like an annual tradition. So we're going to go to Tibbetts and just have a look at like the West End, have a little mooch about. Not really, we don't really have to get any presents for anyone now. I think we're pretty much sorted on that front. Um, so it'll be nice and chilled, just walking around, looking in the shops and having some nice food to eat. And then Wednesday, I'm seeing my best friend, Debbie. We're going to an amazing garden centre called Van Hague's. They're, they're Christmas whole section at Van Hague's is incredible so this is going to be a really good day to vlog actually it's so festive they've got ice skating there and everything although I don't think we're ice skating we're taking her little one-year-old baby there and I think you can queue up and see Father Christmas so that's the plan for Wednesday Thursday is another completely blank day so I'm gonna get stuff done Thursday and Friday, I need to get these nails redone. They've lasted pretty well, though yesterday, this one's starting to look a bit bent. I think it's a little bit on the long side now. So Friday, I'm getting my nails redone. I think I'm gonna go for like a red sparkly color. I quite like this having like just plain ones and then one sparkly one, but I also quite like the idea of having all sparkly ones. Let me know what you think below. Saturday, I think we're seeing Andy's family for some little festive get together at theirs. And Sunday is another day at home. I also need to decide what I'm gonna do about the gym. So the days at home will be days where we might head over to the health club, might go for a swim, might attempt the gym. Although I don't think Andy's gonna be up for doing that. This whole gym schedule's just been ruined, hasn't it, this month? It's so annoying, because we've just got into a really good routine, didn't we? Yeah. So that's next week's plan. So we're gonna take the gym as it goes, but we've got Monday, Thursday, and Sunday completely free next week to be able to do something, hopefully. And I need to work out my blog bits and pieces for next week, but I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I've completely lost track of where I am with my blog. I know I've got posts scheduled and lined up though. The apple tea is nice, but it's definitely not as strong or as flavoursome as the mould one. No, that's it's like quite weak, isn't it? There's also a really rubbish Christmas film on TV, Jingle All The Way. It's got Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. We still haven't put on a film that we actually want to watch. 
I don't think I showed you guys this. I got this yesterday. We went to a little garden centre. I can't remember where that garden centre was. It was outside of Eastbourne. I think it was called Stone Cross or something. It's really cute. It's like a little birdhouse. Just like a decorative one, obviously. And it has like a bit of moss on the front, a reindeer and a Christmas tree. It's just so cute. I love that. This table's getting really messy at the moment. It's just kind of like where I keep putting stuff. It's like a sort of festive centerpiece. Oh, and I also got this from the garden center. Um, it's like a candle jar thing. And it says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I really like that. So cute. And it's like copper. My mum also bought us some real mistletoe, which is really pretty, but I just don't know where to hang it. It's really hard to hang. It was quite cute on there, but it needs to go above the door, really. I've been doing really well at sorting out loads of washing today. That all needs to go in the tumble dryer. Andy's making a toasted sandwich. I take it you've been having a cheese craving. I think it's a comfort food sort of time at the moment. Yeah, you need a bit of comfort. Andy's a bit down and fed up today. I think I might try one of these. Should we do a little taste test of these? Yeah. By owner things you bought us. Or me, you bought me even. Mm. Um, also, I didn't mention these the other day, I don't think. We got these from Infinity Foods. I've never had one of these hot chocolates where it literally comes with like a lump of chocolate on the end of the spoon. And I think you just add milk to it, I think. Yeah, or control it with, control it with only. Yeah, that would be good. No, so I've got one really dark coffee, chocolate yeah. one for me, one milk chocolate one for Andy and I also bought my friend one They had like a marbled sort of white and dark chocolate one so I got my friend that but I'm really intrigued about these, I don't know, they look like they're going to be really good but I think it might be one of those things that's a bit gimmicky and might not actually be as good as it looks So we're going to try some of these, what are they, Fiona Organic pomegranate hearts. I love pomegranates and it says good for vegans right on the top there, which is good labelling. You don't have to go searching on the back. Let's give these a try then. Mmm. Oh, yeah. They're really nice. The difference I find with these Fiona, Fiona sweets and like the goody good stuff ones is like almost like they're not as chewy as sweets that we would have eaten in the past like it feels like this disintegrates quite quickly oh yeah you know what i mean mm. they're nice though these would be really good for valentine's day mm. like, oh just... andy that is absolute trash food you're making right there oh, yeah. what are you doing what's wrong with that oh. this is what you used to have as a kid like when i felt that's like great that's what I'm just making. That would have been so much nicer with like a caramelised onion chutney or something. I'm not in the mood for like something like that posh. I just want it. You're just eating like the kids today. Mm. It's like all we've done today is like lay in bed and then come up to the kitchen and get food and go back down again. It's one of those days, isn't it? Yeah. Ribena and cheese on toast with ketchup. <laughs> it's honestly like, and you, oh, you fall, you fell off your skateboard and now you're eating cheese on toast with ketchup and Ribena. You honestly like a 37 year old man living in like a 12 year old's body. I did have pizza with no cheese on it. That sounded really weird, you don't live in a 12 year old's body. You've got a 37 year old man's body and a 12 year old's personality. Oh my god, we're missing planet Earth. Oh no. It's 20 past eight. Got planet Earth on, we've missed the first 20 minutes but it looks like a good one. Raccoons are so cute, I love raccoons. So the new vlog's just gone live, day 10, and I think probably most people who are looking at it think that I was the one that ended up in A&E about my knees. So I think people are quite surprised to see that it was Andy. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you for his well wishes and stuff, he appreciates it. Thank you. <laughs> Naboo's very happy it's her night tonight, aren't you? You're gonna be in bed with me. Say good night, Naboo. Say good night. <laughs> She's so boss-eyed. <laughs> See you tomorrow for day 12. See ya.